Hello everyone, welcome to eClassopedia. I am Shiva, physics tutor in eClassopedia. eClassopedia is an online tutoring platform where we cover all the subjects and international curriculum including IGCSE, IB, Cambridge, UK, US, GCSE, Excel, Singapore and other competitive exams like Olympiad, university entrance exams and many others. We have students from more than 50 countries including US, UK and many other countries in Asia. In this lesson, uh, let us discuss a small concept of electricity. In electricity, we will discuss some fundamental topics like what is electric current, what are the classification of materials based on the electrons flow through them, uh, what is a simple electric circuit, different circuit symbols and at the end we will discuss some objective questions as well. So what is electric current? Electric current is nothing but the rate at which the electrons flow in a conductor. Let's take an example of a person moving in a vehicle. So the rate at which the vehicle covers the distance in a given time determines the speed of the vehicle. Similarly, the rate at which the electrons flow at a given point in unit time determines the magnitude of the electric current. So the SI unit of the current is amperes. So what are electrons? Electrons are negatively charged particles which are revolving around the nucleus in an atom. They can be tightly held and they can be loosely held depending upon the type of substance they are in. When electrons are loosely held by the nucleus, they can travel freely within the limits of that atom. Since electrons are negatively charged particles, when they move, there is a flow of charge. So when there is a flow of charge, it constitutes the current. So the movement of the charged particles is called as electric current based on the ability of a substance to make the electrons flow through it determines the type of substance it is. So we classify the materials into two different categories conductors and insulators. This classification is based on the ability of a material to conduct electricity that is the ease with which the electrons can flow within a substance. So let's discuss more about the conductors and insulators. Conductors. Conductors are the materials that allow the free flow of electrons. The flow of electrons inside the conductor material will constitute an electric current. And see, these electrons uh, will be moving randomly before they are connected to an external battery or a cell. When we connect a conductor across an external battery, these random movement of electrons will be uh, unidirectional. That is, they will be regulated to be moving in a single direction. And this regulated movement of the electrons will generate an electric current. So some of the examples of the conductors are uh, aqueous solutions of salts, metals like iron, silver and gold. Uh, copper is one of the good conductors because of which we use them in wiring. Silver is actually a better conductor than copper but since copper is econo economical we use copper instead of silver in wiring and other materials. So the other category is insulators. Just like conductors allow the free movement of electrons, insulators are the materials that doesn't allow the free movement of electrons that is they restrict the free flow of electrons. So some of the examples of insulators are plastic, wood, glass and many others. Now let us discuss a little bit about a simple electric circuit. Electric circuit consists of some basic electrical components connected in different ways. There are basically two different kinds of connections, series and parallel connection, but we'll learn about them later. So as you can see in this figure, in this electric circuit, there are electric bulb, switch and a battery connected through a wire. The circuit will have a battery because it, it is needed as an energy source to produce the voltage. What is voltage? Voltage provides the electromotive force for the electrons to flow in a circuit. Without voltage, electrons just move randomly and they are not unidirectional, so the current cannot flow. Voltage creates a pressure on the electrons which channelizes it to flow in a single direction. The circuit forms a closed conducting loop through which electrons can flow. The circuit is said to be closed or complete when a switch is in on position. When it is in off position, there will be a gap in a circuit and 
it doesn't allow the flow of current in the circuit. In this slide, you can see different circuit symbols of electrical components. The first two are the circuit symbols of switches in open and closed positions. So when the switch is in open position, the current doesn't flow in the circuit. And when it is in the closed position, it will be allowing the passage of the current. And the next two are the circuit symbols of cell and battery. In the cell, the longer line will denote the positive terminal and the smaller line denotes the negative terminal. And if more than one cell are connected in a series, we call it a battery. And the next circuit symbol with a circle and a cross inside it is lamp or electric bulb. And the next thing with a rectangle and a line passing through it is a circuit symbol of fuse. And the next two voltmeter and ammeter. These are the instruments used to measure the potential difference of voltage and current across a circuit. So you can see that circuit symbols are simple. It's just with the circles with V and A inside them. We touched upon the concept of electromotive force when we discussed about the voltage. Let's discuss a little bit more about it. The motion of electrons, as I discussed before, is normally random in a substance. So, if a force acts on these electrons to make them move in a single direction, in a particular direction, then the random motion of the electrons will be eliminated and there will be a single flow of charge. So, this force that makes the electrons to move in a regulated way in a certain direction is known as electromotive force and its magnitude is what we call as voltage and it is measured usually in volts. So far we discussed about what is electric current, what are its units, what are the different classifications of substances based upon the electrons flow through them and we discussed what is an electric circuit and different circuit symbols. Now let's use a concept of a water pipe to understand how does an electric current flow through a pipe. So as you can see in this figure, there are two cases where the pressure in the pipe is more and in the pressure in the pipe is less in the second case. If the pressure is more, the water flow will be more. And similarly, if the pressure is less, the water flow will be less. Just like that, even in electric circuit, when the voltage is high, that is equivalent to pressure being high. So if the voltage is high, the flow of electrons will be high and the current will also increase. And similarly, when the voltage is less, it means like the pressure will be less and the flow of electrons will also be less. Hence, the current will be less. So this model of uh, water pipe allows us to understand the concept of flow of electrons and current better. So based on the topics we discussed so far, I am including two objective questions in the slides. So you can read the question, try to solve them and answer in the comment section below along with any of the doubts you have in our lesson so far. So this is the first objective question and you can see the second one in the next slide. So this is the second question which is based upon the resistance. I did not particularly discuss about the resistance in this uh, lesson. So let's uh, let us just discuss it briefly about it. Resistance is nothing but the ability of a substance to restrict the flow of electrons through it. We just need this information to answer this question. I guess you can solve it. Please like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Registrations are open for this course. For any further queries or assistance, please feel free to get in touch with our team at this number. And at this website, you can register for a free demo session. And the link is also given in the description box below. Thank you.